If you are a fan of the reboot Frasier on Paramount+, Plus, we have a treat for you. Especially if you love the actor who plays Professor Olivia Finch. We're talking about Tokes Olagunduye. She talks, she takes on the role of the quirky chair of the Harvard Psychology Department, where Kelsey Grammer's character, Fraser Crane, is currently a lecturer. We have a preview of tomorrow's episode, and in this clip, Fraser asks his friends for critiques of his memoir. They were supposed to read it before meeting him. I thought this was next week. I haven't read it yet. This is my worst nightmare. Oh, please, it's not a test. It's just a friendly gathering. Have you read it? Well, of course I have. What friend wouldn't? <laughs> Look, Fraser's probably feeling vulnerable, so just make up something positive and thoughtful. Like what? Well, I, I plan on saying um, I loved how the themes of his childhood reverberated throughout his life. Really is a richly woven tapestry. All right, well, uh, the backup brie is in the oven. All right. <laughs> so, who'd like to go first, then? Uh, Olivia? Me? <laughs> um, well, I liked how the themes of your childhood <laughs> reverberated throughout your life. <laughs> I thought it was like a richly woven tapestry. <laughs> So you love that when it's like, you stole my answer. <laughs> we have Tokes with us now. Tokes, thank you so much for being here. Yes, what a, a treat to have Fraser back again. But you almost didn't take this job. Yeah. Why? Um, well, many reasons. Um, initially, the, the, it just wasn't why people didn't like the deal that was made. So I, I kind of skipped the testing process, which... I was heartbroken about, but I had just done my last round of chemo, so I was exhausted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was like, well, yeah. maybe this is the universe telling yeah. me that it's not time. And then I guess they didn't like any of the people who tested, and I got the gig anyway, thank goodness. <laughs> so about the chemo, you had a double mastectomy during season one. Uh, that's a big change to your life. You tell your colleagues about it. How did Frazier himself react? Uh, Graham, I mean. Well, yeah, I mean, Kelsey's got a really big heart. I don't know if you know. And I, I, w I was supposed to initially have my um, double mastectomy after the season was filming, but my surgeon got nervous, so we pulled it up. Uh, we'd only filmed three episodes. I was like, Whoa. yep, wow. I'm getting fired. Wow. I'm going to be demoted to guest star, and they're going to get rid of me. And they said, no, we'll make room for everything. But, you know, Hollywood, they say things. And so I go home that night. I get a call from Kelsey. I'm, like, getting fired right now. You okay. thought that was the phone call? Oh, yeah. I was like, he's, he's doing it in person because he's a nice guy. Wow. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be him and not the... No, he called to tell me that, you know, he didn't know that what was going on. And he was so sorry it was happening. He was very emotional. And he told me he loved me and that I was part mm. of the Frasier family. And they were going to do everything that they could to make sure that I was comfortable and needed everything I... I needed to, you know, because I needed time. And, yeah, um, yeah they, uh, they made it very easy for me to go through that. And they were amazing and loving and wonderful. And, I mean, that is the first time that I felt that kind of bond with someone I worked with and for, because to have someone take care of you in that way mm. is very special. So how did you go through it? I mean, how, did you, how were you able to act and, and be active on set and, and go through what must have been an extremely exhausting and painful process. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I I just did it. You know, I've I've always been that way. I've always I've, I was born and raised in Nigeria. My dad's Nigerian. My mother's Norwegian. So the people who were just like, get it done. They're tough. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. And um, I'd had my first three surgeries while I was filming Fatal Attraction. Anyway, um, and then I mm. was doing. I was working throughout my chemo's, doing my voiceover gigs, and so, you know, it wasn't easy, but. Um, it was also really nice to be around laughter and people I loved and something I loved doing oh, I every bet. day, yeah. rather than just sitting at home, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, just got it done. So you play the chair of the Harvard uh, Psychology or Psychiatry Department? Psychology. Psychology. You have very strong professor vibes that you give off. I know it's <laughs> called acting. <laughs> Did, did, at some point in your life, did you think about being a teacher or a professor of some? Description? I was a teacher actually oh, really? for about a year. Yeah, um, I taught here in New York at a middle what school in about? in Harlem, and um, I'm not emotionally equipped. <laughs> yeah, was a little, I got a little too attached to all my my kiddos. Oh. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, originally I was going to go into law, which you know 
sooner or later, I'm sure I would have become a professor. It's all making sense now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's all coming together. You have said that having cancer has helped you not worry, that you were almost relieved when you got diagnosed. Yeah. Tell us about that. There's a lot of cancer in my family. I've lost a lot of loved ones to cancer, and I've been worried my whole life mm -hmm. about it. Um, so ironically, I've always been very healthy. Like, you know, everything I do in my life, the way I eat, exercise, whatever, is centered around being healthy. So. Ironically, I still got cancer, but I was like, oh, okay, this is the one I'm getting. And so now I just deal with it, okay. you know? And the um, dealing with it was so much easier than the worrying about it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, now that I know that I don't have to worry, you know, like the biggest thing that could have gone wrong went wrong, essentially, and mm -hmm. I dealt with it and it was fine and I'm still here, so. You know, there's no point in worrying. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen anyway. Our, our colleague Gail on the earlier hours of this show mentioned that today she's uh, getting a breast exam, um, her annual uh, yeah, uh, yeah, mammogram. 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 Yeah. And uh, I, I mean, I guess that's the advice you have for people, right? 100 percent. Get your mammograms. Also, learn to do self-tests. If you can self-test every week, that's also really good. Um, or teach your teach your partner to test you. Make it fun. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and and I mean across the board for everyone, not just women. Like whatever your annual checkup is please do that, you know, even if it's oral, dentist, whatever, yeah. do get, take yeah. care of yourselves. All right. But you're okay now. Totally fine. I love you that. You look great. Yeah. And you're going to be on a panel later Great. today to talk about disparities in breast cancer, right? Yes. Black women are more likely to die from breast cancer, yeah. which is unbelievable. Yeah. Congrats. Well, it, it's, it's believable. It's believable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also childbirth. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much for the work that you're doing yeah. and for joining us today, Yeah, Tokes. Thank you for having me. All right. You can watch new episodes of Frasier every Thursday on Paramount Plus, which, like CBS, is a division of Paramount Global.